Here at Brockwell's Automotive Operations, research has been proceeding to develop a line of heavy-duty transmissions that establishes new standards for reliability, durability, and quality, with customer needs as our primary focus. Work is proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Such an instrument is the turbo encabulator. This was the idea. 41 monastically spaced grouting brushes were arranged to fade into the rotor slipstream a mixture of high S-value phenyl hydrobenzamine and 5% remonitive tetraiodohexamine. Now, as you may remember from your high school days, both of these liquids have specific peristosities given by the formula P equals 2.5C times 6.7 over N, where N, of course, is the diethical evolute of retrograde temperature phase disposition and C in that formula being Chalmondeley's annular grid coefficient. Now, initially, N was measured, and here's where we had a great deal of trouble, with the aid of a metapolar refractive pilferometer. And of course, for a description of that ingenious instrument that saved us a great deal of work, we referred to Dr. David Blumenstein's book, Zeit Schrift ver Elektrotechnika Statischer Donnerblitzer, that was Blumenstein's seventh volume, I believe. But up until now, nothing has been found to equal the transcendental Hopper datascope, and for that, our engineers referred to the Peruvian Academy of Scatological Sciences, which I believe was, yes, it was June 1914, that meeting. Now, I understand that this description may sound a bit complicated to the lay ear, but even experienced electrical engineers will appreciate the difficulty of nubbing together a regurgitive pearl well and a supernative wainel sprocket. Indeed, this proved to be a stumbling block to further development. We were at our wit's end until, in 1984, it was found that the use of anhydrous nangling pins enabled a cryptonaptic bowling shim to be tankered. The turboencabulator has now reached a high level of development, and it's being successfully used in the operation of Nofer trunnions. Moreover, whenever a fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal deplaneration. Now, we realize that $59 billion is a great deal of money, but we at Rockwell Automotive believe sincerely our customers are worth it. Thank you.